It's the Golden Retriever. Goldies are famous for their luxurious golden coat. It's made up of two layers, a downy undercoat to give them insulation and a longer outer coat to protect them from the elements. But this soft, beautiful fur comes at a price. Dog hair all over the house. The good news is that the Golden Retriever's main aim in life is to please, and you voted them the happiest and best behaved dogs in our top 10. And these three are shining examples. Meet Star, Freddy and Elsie. Their owner, Julie Simpson, wouldn't dream of having any other breed. I've owned um, Golden Retrievers for nine years. They're really lovely, docile, happy, go-lucky dogs. They love being with family. Golden Retrievers love children, and these dogs have a very special relationship with 14-year-old Charlie. I love them because they make me happy and give me a smile on my face. They love you, whatever mood you're in, they'll just love you the way you are. <laughs> Unlike most other dogs, Goldies retain their silly, playful side beyond their puppy years. And clearly, you can't have too much of a good thing, because look what else he's been up to. Introducing Fanny, Barbie, Mr. Grey, Parker, Coco, Stanley, Hattie, Bella, and last but not least, Hudson. Nine of them now, oh, it's hard work. At five weeks old, these puppies are learning to play, improving their coordination and developing their social skills. Their puppy fluff will eventually become their adult undercoat, but that's still in the distant future. These are five weeks old. When they're eight weeks, they're going to be absolutely crazy. They're crazy now. Julie and Charlie want to make sure that all nine go to the loving homes they deserve. This couple, they sound really nice. Wow. And they live in the countryside. Oh, and they lost a dog. Oh, Golden Cooper. Two of the prospective new owners are John and Joe Ingham. Golden Retrievers have always been a big part of their lives. My first sort of memories are of a Golden Retriever that my mum and dad bought me. They are such a good family dog. So there's never been any question it's got to be a Golden Retriever. John and Joe lost their last Golden Retriever, Bonnie, four months ago. She'll always be a very, very special part of our life. And glad she was with us for the short time she was. They're now ready to welcome a new retriever into their lives. And they've got their heart set on one of Julie's puppies in particular, Bella. Well, we're obviously excited. feeling excited, excited. little apprehensive that it all goes all right and that Bella likes her new home. Bella's now eight weeks old and the last of the litter to fly the nest. Hello. Oh. Hello. Oh. 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 There you are. Oh. Support her bum. Oh. Very good. Oh. Okay, yeah. Beautiful. I like seeing everyone's happy face when oh. they come and collect them. Oh, and I bet. Yeah. Happy. Yeah. And how could you not be happy with oh, a thing like that? Oh, you can't, huh? can you? So far, so good. Now let's hope that Bella loves her new home. Ready, steady, rough. Ooh. Oh, it's a new life, isn't it? It's exciting. A new beginning. The house feels lived in again. Yeah. After a bit of exploration, meeting her fellow housemates, and bonding with her new owners, <laughs> Bella seems pretty much at home already. Oh, dear. Look at that. <laughs> it has been a busy day. You know, it's a hard life being a dog, isn't it? <laughs>